Okay, welcome back to section 4.1.2. Remember that we were working on a problem that looked a lot like this. We found that these two angles were complements of each other. And what we're going to find, or what we would hope you would find in the lesson, remember that the original triangle that we had had um, an 11 degree angle down here and the ratio was 1 to 5 or 1 fifth. Well, if this angle up here is 79 degrees, I could rotate this triangle so it looked like this. This would be my 79. This would be my 11. Now, my 11 degree angle had a 1 across from it. My 79 degree angle had a 5 across from it. And I can now write a ratio for a 79 degree triangle. Its ratio is going to be 5 over 1. The same thing happens in a 22 degree triangle. In a 22 degree triangle, the ratio was 2 fifths. And we're going to find that, let's see what 90 minus 22 is, so we can find its complement. 68. A 68 is degree triangle. It's just going to be the other angle from 22, just like 11 is opposite of 79. And since they're opposite of each other, rotation of the triangle is going to make, um, is just basically going to make it the reciprocal, 5 halves. So what I've gone ahead and done is I've gone ahead and put in here those ratios. I know that 79 will now have a slope ratio of 5 over 1 or 5. And this one will have 5 over 2 or 5 halves or 2 and a half. Um, 45 would be its own complement. And we don't really have any of the other ones right now. But we've got a few more angles that we can work with. Now, with that in mind, let's look here at this, this particular problem. And we see that we have a 68 degree angle. Once again, we're going to use our method to find it, which is put the ratio from the table, because that's the smallest slope triangle that's similar, so 68 was 5 over 2, and set it equal to the dy and dx, dx here. This is dy, this is going to be dx, so let's see, dy is 30 over x, cross multiply and solve, 5x equals 60. We've got an extra step because we're not down to x yet. 5x divided by 60 divided by 5, 5, x is going to equal 12. So in this one, x will equal 12. And so uh, that was the next one that we wanted to look at. Now, with all of this in mind, this is the basic form we use today. We put the known ratio here from the table, and we put the ratio from the triangle over here. We used complementary angles, kind of like I have shown you here, to find um, some new angles that we didn't know before. So let's go back to our questions. Okay, What methods can I use to find more slope triangle ratios and angle relationships? Well, we can use complementary angles and rotating the triangles to find some new ones, which is what we did today. How do I use these relationships to find sides and angles? We said that basically, if you were looking for sides, you would use this table, not this table, this chart, or this uh, formula. You would find the angle, find its ratio, plug it into the first one, and then you would look on your actual triangle and plug its ratio in on the second one. We found that we could find the angles uh, from a triangle if we knew both of its sides. For example, in this problem here, we, they gave us the two sides, 20 and 50. So we did 20 over 50 reduced to 2 fifths. And we went back and we just used the table backwards. So we went down, we found 2 fifths, went back across and said that must be a 22 degree angle. Remember that at the heart of all of these things that we did today was the idea that similar triangles 
will, when we're using these slope ratios, we'll have a common ratio for all of them. And we usually use that as the simplest uh, form, the, the reduced form of the smallest slope triangle. And we can use that. Hope this helps and good luck.